Are you heading back to school and wondering where do you put all those doggone books? Well, Ken Wingard knows. He's here to show us how to make a Design Within Reach inspired uh, DIY stacking bookcase. Now, tell us what makes this bookcase so doggone special. Well, it, it sort of, um, it was designed a while ago and Design Within Reach was a big sort of very high-end modern furniture retail, sort of made it famous. Here's a photo of it. It is sort of a very minimal um, bookcase and when you stack with books, it sort of disappears. It looks great in multiples. Looks like it's floating. Right, and it turns books into sort of this work of art in your house. Yeah. It doesn't take up a lot of space. Um, it's good for dormitories where you don't have, where you can't put things on the wall or if you're a renter. Um, Stacking all your iPads. Right. Right, for all those iPads <laughs> your you Kindles. have. Yeah, your Kindles, your iPads. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but they're expensive. They retail about $250. I've always loved them. Some of my fancy friends have them. I do not because I'm cheap. Um, That's why we love you because you always <laughs> have the cheap, cheap solution to everything expensive. <laughs> so I figured out, I thought it'd be kind of tricky how to, to make this because it's a lot of books. It has the weight work and the balance and all that. But I found it was actually very simple. And the key are these little two for a dollar Just, metal bookends. Book you get yeah. staple. Right, exactly, that's exactly where they came from. I can't even from. believe it. Yep, they come in a pair, two box that, a, a two by six board, and a round tabletop like that you get at the hardware store for 18 bucks. And you got started earlier today. I did, let's, let's take, take a, a look. look. So what I did first, because I wanted it to all disappear, I painted everything black. That was the color of my bookcases, my bookends, and I wanted to do them first so I wouldn't have to paint it afterwards. Now these come in a set of two. Um, I found that using them individually wasn't strong enough, so I got some glue, and I just used E6000 and glued oh, cool. them together. Um, just let those sit for a while, and then you're gonna drill through the metal. And it seems like hard, just a regular drill bit, a little bit of pressure. It's actually easier than drilling through wood. Um, and you wanna do that six times. Get your six, so that's 12 um, bookends. So get two L brackets, I painted them black as well, and then you wanna get your two by six and attach it to your wood tabletop. You wanna do it so that where the books are sitting are gonna be roughly in the center of the disc. That's key for balance. And then I just used wood screws and through those pre-drilled holes added my bookends. And I did them sort of touching so it almost works out into a little pattern. And voila, that was wow. seriously it. How long did that take for you to do? Like, that was real time. So it took me maybe 15 minutes. Are you Apart from paint drying time, and like 15 minutes. So these retail for, uh, what do you think? Like, like 250. 250 and right. how much was yours? 30. 30. Uh, yeah, if you have to go out and buy the wood, but I'm sure you got a two by six in your backyard somewhere. So what's there left to do then? Put on some books, baby. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? It's that easy. And look how, this to me, so like, cool. it looks so great. Um, the, the thing that took me the longest was to get our books and actually put them um, in order on size. That actually took me. So let me ask you this. Half Yours hour. is black. I know you like it black, but what if I wanted to paint it white or some other color? You, know, you could. Maybe. Like, I've seen them in like a bright orange. They look great. Um, but really, when they're full of books, you don't see it. So if you want it so that you can take books off and it's gonna create a pop of color, go ahead and paint it a color. But it, it's really about making it disappear and just having this, doesn't that just look, people sure, come in and cool. they're like, whoa, don't knock the books over. It I'm looks gonna expensive. Make one. Yeah. And you know, truthfully, you were laughing and joking about where you're gonna put your iPads and your Kindles, but um, there's a lot of required reading for kids in school, whether right. you're in high right. school, yeah. middle school, or college right. these days. So that could great actually little college very project. in handy. Right.